Hello guys, I am Manjit. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share with you guys this very useful tool that I have found which enables Discord's overlay everywhere. Currently, this Discord's overlay is only supported in some games. But what if you want to play some browser's game, for example, Scribble, Smash Cards, and still you want to keep track of your friends who is talking, who is not talking, who is muted, who is uh, in the VC, who is watching your stream. For that, this is very useful. You can enable Discord's overlay on browser or wherever you like. So let's see how we can do this. Go ahead and download this file. Link is in the description. Before you set up, please watch this full tutorial or you will miss something and have some problem. As I did myself. Don't be in a hurry. You can see my Discord's overlay is working even over the Discord. Let me quickly extract this file which we downloaded earlier. This file is all you need. Let me close this older instance which is running and let's down open this newly downloaded on. As soon as you open the new window, Discord tries to discover this newly opened window. But only if this window is added in the activity status. Let me quickly add this to Discord's activity status. As you can see Discord overlay host, that way you will have to add it and overlay you will have to turn on the overlay. Let's close this and in Discord will slowly it will take some time and discover this window and will show the overlay. But still there are some problem. I will show you wait. As you can see this overlay is detected and it's showing. But the problem is this window is way too big with respect to my windows resolution. So to fix that, go to the downloaded folder, Discord's overlay exe properties and compatibility, change settings for all users, change high DPI scaling behavior, click on that, ok, apply, ok, ok. And then this problem will be fixed, but there is this another problem, when I press Discord's overlay hotkey, which might be different for you, you can set it from here, you can see this toggle overlay, and this problem occurs. Which, which shows like, oops, your game is too tiny for your overlay. Resize to 768 into 432. So to fix this, just resize this window. Just resize to the required size. And it will show. Now you can see this Discord's overlay is working. But the size is too big. Because I have not restarted since I changed the properties. So to fix this, just... I will have to restart this. Let's just close this and open new. And now you can see this. The size is way too smaller. And let me quickly resize this to the required size. You will not have to set uh, resize this every time when you open. You will you can save this windows position and size. When you open it requires little bit of time to get discovered by discord and then the discord will show the overlay and there is this one thing that i have observed that when you make the windows of this discord's overlay host smaller it requires it takes lit, uh, less uh, cpu processing power but when you increase the size you can even keep it to the full screen but it takes lots of cpu and there is one more last problem with this is when you press window key plus D to show the desktop screen, this error occurs. I personally use lots of window key plus D shortcut. If you use that, that's a problem for you then. If you don't, then it's not a issue. So to fix that, you will have to just restart this. As you can see, as I restart, this starts working. But sometimes it does not work even if you restart. To fix that you will have to just delete the properties.bin, props.bin and then you will have to restart. That will just reset your uh, position, saved position or and uh, clickable overlay, whatever you, your setting was. That's it. If you guys think this piece of information was useful to you then please consider like and subscribe to my channel. And I will keep looking for new tips and tricks for you guys. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.